in this video we will fix two bugs and we will also make sure that whenever we can't afford one of these towers uh, because we don't have enough currency well then the tower button will be grayed out to make it easier for us to um, uh, see what kind of towers we can buy and which one we can't buy um, just as a player it's, it's just easier for us to see if a, if a button is grayed out than looking at the money and comparing it right so first of all we need to fix this bug here um, if we place a tower close to the portal here and I play next way then you'll see when the monster gets close to this tower it will take damage and that's exactly what it needs to do but there are two things that we haven't taken into account the first thing is the fact that the tower hits the monster and when the monster has taken damage it disappears into the portal so in the next wave it spawns and the tower still has the monster on target so it can actually shoot through the whole level because it never lost the monster as a target here when it entered the portal so this can be fixed by going to the attack function on the tower and going to the lowest if statement that checks if the target is alive or if it is null it also needs to check if target isn't null and the target um, isn't active like so because when the monster enters the portal it will become inactive and this is also a condition that the tower needs to look at to make sure that it resets its targets so if we go back here and place the fire tower one more time you'll see that the monster gets hit and it will not have it on target anymore so as you can see the health bar here is actually um, below the tower right now you'll see it when it comes here you see the health bar um, the health bar passes below the tower if you want to fix that you can go to the blue monster um, let's just click on it here you can go to the blue monster prefab or monster prefab and you just need to adjust the health ca health canvas ordering layer right if I make this higher 28 it's just the number here you'll see that it's actually in front of the tower now but you can always adjust that here in the prefabs okay um, let's see now it gets through the portal and when I play the next wave the tar the mon the tower here will not have the monster on target as you can see it doesn't shoot at the monster anymore but you can see it loses health and that's the other bug because the monster got a debuff from the tower when it entered uh, when it got hit and that debuff never fell off the monster so we didn't tell the monster to remove all debuffs when it got inactive that means because we're using an object pool um, we're reusing the same monsters and when we're reusing a monster that already had a debuff on it it will also have it again when it spawns so to fix this simply have to go to the monster and then go to the spawn function let's see if we can find it yeah it's right here um, and then simply in the beginning of this function you say debuffs that clear so debuffs that, that clear clears the list of debuffs which means that it will not have any debuffs on it when it spawns and we can just write here removes all debuffs there we go so this removes all debuffs basically should also have a release function uh, that's not selection I want to search in there is a release function here if we go to that one we could also say debuffs dot clear if we want to that should be the same actually it makes more sense to do it here in release you can do it in in um, spawn or release it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna do it in release because I think if it spawns then it might take a tick from that um, debuff if it doesn't clear it before so think we should put it in release I just figured that there was a release function here so when we have put that in release and we save the game we can try to play it one more time and place a fire tower here and click next wave and then this monster should not have a debuff on it when it spawns and the tower should not have it on target so that it can shoot it 
from one side of the level to the other. So let's give it a try here. Let's hit. There we go. So if I click next wave, it has full health and it doesn't have it on target. Okay, so now that bug is fixed. I actually think I'm going to end this video here. I know it's very short, but I think I want to make this as a bug fixing video. And then the next video, I will start doing a UI work for actually graying out these buttons here because it takes um, some, some work to do that. And I think this video is going to be too long if I also add it into this one. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Also, if you like my material and my tutorials, then please consider supporting me. And you can do that by clicking on the link on the screen right here. And then you'll be taken to my homepage where you can read more about how you can support me. So thanks for watching.